some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, oh, oh, oh. a couple days ago, a subscriber emailed me a link to this video on Code Blue Cam. They're not a frauditor, nor are they a sovereign citizen, but they're still funny as hell. So now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On January 1st, 2023, a Portage County Sheriff's deputy was on patrol when he ran the plates of a vehicle in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. It came back showing the registered owner had a suspended license, so the deputy decided to conduct a traffic stop. Upon approach, the female driver, 33-year-old Nicole Golomsky, immediately began yelling and cursing. Following, waiting for me to leave my gas pump. Look around, douche. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're off to a good start here. Calling the officer a douche. Wow, what a pleasant woman you are. And of course, I'm being facetious on that one, lady. Well, the reason you really why don't I'm have anything over. better to do on New Year's Eve, New Year's night, New Year's Day, when there's all these motherfuckers. Get that out my eyes. It's not in your I eyes. didn't do anything illegal. Pointing, pointing I right do here. know I know your ass is gonna pull me over. Okay. I saw you're sitting at you know where, why? parties. Parties. Yes. Because you know you're why? lazy and you don't want to pull over somebody with actually where you have to do paperwork. Who has a suspended driver's license? Oh, so. I got a suspended driver's license, but you can pull somebody over drinking and driving, right? Okay, can I oh yeah, so many other people in the world he could have pulled over, but he just had to pull you over and ruin your whole bloody night, didn't he, honey? Oh, poor baby. Your ID? No. I don't have it with me. My name is Nicole Glomsky. You know who the f I am. Okay. Because you just said I have a suspended license. Do what you gotta do with well, your dog. Well, I have to verify dog. who you are. I'm don't not find anything. anything. I don't give a f And your buddy back there can bring his dog. You guys do this to me anytime. I've never met- Sounds to me like we got a habitual offender on our hands right here. But she's got a lovely motor mouth, so let her continue on for a few more minutes. So I don't know what you're talking about. Why did you creep at Quick Trip so until I, I left? Answer that. Because I saw you at a suspended driver's license. How did you see that if you're on the other side of the parking lot and then drove around my vehicle, then drove around again? Okay, you know what? I don't need to answer you. You don't have to answer I don't have to answer What's you. What's your name, sir? He doesn't have to answer you. Whatever. I do what I want. Why? Get it out of his eyes. You're not wearing a seatbelt. Okay, neither the f*** am I. Neither am I. neither am I. I don't know that. Oh, well. Lady, you are totally incriminating yourself right now. Maybe you should ex exercise your right to remain silent. Or better yet, try to conjure up Chili's trifold and present it to the officer. I'm sure that will work out real well, don't you think? Talking to him. What's your name? F*** off. He does not need to tell you his name, legally. You're not going to try to make somebody. He's a passenger. Did I do anything You are wrong? being, this is entrapment. Do you know that? You're going to get in trouble. It's not entrapment. Yes, it is. If you think I'm going to get in trouble, it's my charge cast. is right here. It, what is that called? Harassment. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Breathalyze this. Breathalyze get this. Get it. Get it. How do and I know that? Your eyes are glossy. glossy. Yeah, I smoke a lot of weed. Been smoking tonight? No. Nope. When's the last time you smoked? None of your business. Mm. You smell weed? No. Nope. Are you going to find weed? No. Nope. Sorry, you, you wasted your time. I don't actually, I think I do smell weed. You do? Search it, I told you, f***er. Get your dog. I don't need a dog. Do you got weed on you that you would put in my car? Why would I have weed you, on you me? You seem like a dirty, lazy cop. Oh, that's So when you dig through my car that. and you're, that is, don't find nothing, don't be upset and then have to give me a ticket for suspended license and drive away like a piece of cop. They say confession is good for the soul. Man, let me tell you something, sister. You just confessed everything. Or do you have more to confess to this officer? Because inquiring minds want to know. Why don't you... He wasn't wearing a seatbelt and didn't want to ID himself either. Dude, this guy waited at Quick Trip for me. For no reason, I'm pumping gas and doing my makeup. Ready to actually go to a friend's house okay, and have you... a couple drinks. How much have you had to drink already? Not breathalyze me. I'm not talking to you no more. Ooh, All right, I'll be right back. 
Let me ask you something, sir. Do you have a valid driver's license? No. No? So neither of you are leaving here then until you have a valid driver you know also. What? I can walk away. Can I? You can't leave right now. If I'm not being detained, yes, I can. No, you are detained. How? You're getting a citation. That's you're not, not being going detained. anywhere. That's not being detained. Yeah, you're not leaving. Okay, well, when you're this is done giving me a ticket, Craig. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. So are you willing to tell me who you are, what your name is, sir? No, he doesn't have to. I'm telling him not to talk to you. Do not. I'm not talking to you okay, right well, now. Okay, I don't want him stop talking, talking to you. No. You need to stop talking. Me Step out of the for vehicle. no reason. Step out. Come here. I'm going to talk to you back here. No. Sir, do I have to listen to him? Uh, yes, you do. Walk to the front of that car, please. I just want to know, dude, speaking person to person, like, why are, yeah, I would why love are to you speak. guys not one, two, three, four, five cops here? Look at how why you're reacting. It? Because I'm not because trying I'm to mistreat you. To I'm not, time. like, trying to make you feel no, bad. No, listen to me. Please let me finish. Sure. There's so many drunk crackheads, meth heads, alcoholics, people with so much stuff that if you pulled them over, you would actually... I don't know, it would feel like you were doing good because they were drinking and driving or they had drugs or they were doing something bad. Okay. But why pull Well, you physically told me you're smoking pot or weed all the time. Lady, driving under a suspended license is a crime. The driver's licenses are regulated by the state. They have authority over that. Because you're being a thing. My eyes are glassy. You smell weed. Actually, I do smell weed now. You know you don't. You don't smell weed. You don't smell alcohol. I haven't been drinking. Okay, for That's one thing, lying to me. it would be lying if I was lying. I'm not lying to you. Okay. Don't raise your voice at me, dude. I have daddy issues, and I don't like men. I don't trust them. Listen. I have PTSD. If you don't trust men, then you have a serious problem because you're going to be dealing with them for the rest of your life. And if you have PTSD from dealing with somebody who treated you poorly, well, you need to seek some help if you haven't already. Do not talk to me like that. Do not. I'm not lying. Everything I say that we're talking about is you recorded. Know how scary this is when you see like this happen on the news. Where None of this get, would even have gone this far down. or be to where it is people right now. Held down by if you guys you to have choked a, out. If you could at least have the slightest bit of and respect. I am a Brad. I do not. I want to walk away from you because I don't owe you. Shit. I have daddy issues. Listen, but you know what you would do? Walk to the front of my car. You know what you would do? Just walk to the front of that car. You would physically hurt me. You would hold I'm me I'm not out. going to. You, but if I try I'm to not run even going to touch you. You would. You'd shoot my Just have a seat right there. Relax. Tell me what to do. Okay. So here's the thing. You're not identifying yourself. I pulled up behind you. I have a camera that's also in my car that I've never observed. Either one of you removing a seatbelt. Therefore, you weren't wearing one. It's a violation. If you're not going to tell me who you are and give me your identification, that's obstructing. And then we're going to handle it differently. What are you, what are you trying to do? Just, just tell me who you are. What have I done wrong? Because I saw you driving around. Yeah, I saw you at Quick Trip. I ran her plate. I saw that she was suspended as a registered owner of the vehicle. I can legally do that. I can sit at a gas pump and run every license plate around me. I can legally do that. Aaron Source. Irving. Irving. I'm R-V-I-N-G. Saragoza. Call it in right now so I can tell you how it is. 6-2 Comp. Could you look up a Irvin Saragoza in-house? Just got that phone in. Well, we could tell who wears the pants in that relationship. And if she doesn't entirely trust men, well, you can definitely see why she chose him as a companion. He's practically got a doormat personality about him. Yeah, what's the harassment? This wouldn't if she wouldn't have like started yelling at me and like all this would have this would have never gotten to this point. It's just, it's just that we're all the time. This is happening like we're uh, not doing anything wrong. Literally at the picture standing there and like. So I drive around and I like that's my job is to observe traffic and I run license plates. No, I literally look for people with suspended driver's licenses. I look for people that are revoked. And so now you're out in forest, why? Well, no, this is my normal shift. There's quite a few guys up here. Right, right now, yeah, you got us a shift change, so there's a lot of us, because there's guys coming off and on. Half hour ago, there was like three of us. That's it. Trying to mess with us when you could be actually doing something good. Okay. How much weed is in the car? There's no weed here. I can smell it. Okay. If you can smell it, then you need to get your nose checked. No, no. Irving, quit 
talking to him. You already got your name. You need to stop asking me questions about my Jared, phone. you want to walk up here? You might as well just get it done and over with. You want to get in here and check it? Go ahead. So I looked at past contacts, too, with the car, and, like, it even says that there's been marijuana in this car. So are you going to tell me that I don't smell it when it's Dude, been in here? I don't care to search the whole vehicle, honestly. I don't want to look in the dang vehicle. I don't care. Like, what are you trying to get at? I'm, trying I'm just to being honest. I'm talking to you, talking man to man. I've already told you. Like, there's nothing here. What do you want? Nothing. I don't like, want anything. If you're trying to get in here, get in here. Okay. Can, you, can you step out? Can you run it? Can you be quick? And like, yeah, no. You're not going anywhere. You guys might as well start calling for a ride. I, I, I don't I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have you step forward and hang out with that officer. No, you don't. I don't need permission. Because the more I talk to him, have my head in the car, I can definitely smell marijuana. How do you know what marijuana smells like? Get that marijuana back. Don't put any drugs in my car. I've seen it on YouTube videos. Do you have your phone with you? No. Irvin, do you want to try to call somebody? Because you guys aren't driving out of here. I'm going to hand you your phone so you can work on a ride. I don't need a ride. I'm going to push my car. Okay, well, then we're going to go knock on that door. I'm going to verify that's your uncle and he says it's okay. You can put your car there. Go ahead. Why don't you check the address? Why do you have a hatchet in your door? I can have whatever the f I want in my door. I can have a gun in my door. Well, it's for protection, officer, because you never know when some crazy lady like her can walk up to you on the streets. Okay, thanks. That's all I wanted to hear. Nope. I thought you didn't have an ID. That sounds like obstructing. I used to say, I, I hear all kinds of things. I just don't want to talk to you because I don't want you to keep yelling at me. I don't work for the city. Nicole was released and cited for failure to wear a seatbelt, operating while suspended, and failure to have a passenger wear a seatbelt. <laughs> That's what I was doing at Quick Trip. But he said he saw that I have a suspended license when I don't have a front plate. Yeah, she's lucky that he didn't charge her to everything she confessed to right there on the spot. Pretty damn lucky. Keep it up. And I'm going to write you for obstructing for not Please giving me do. your ID. Please do. I don't need to hear it. Not from you. And not from nobody. Here's a citation for operating well suspended. There's a court date and time up here at the top. You do not have to appear. It would be a deposit of $200.50. Oh, God, your voice. There's also a citation for you not wearing a seatbelt. Same court Look, date. Look, I told you he's going to write a ticket for everything because he's going to feel asked for that. He's going to find nothing. Also, I'm giving you a citation Ugh. for not having your passenger or your passenger failing to wear his seatbelt. Babe, uh, uh. spread them. Uh. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah, you better figure out a way to get your car somewhere because you're not driving it. I'm going to push it to where it needs to go. Good okay. boy. You feel good? Nope, we'll be here. Fighting crap. I know you will because you don't want to do paperwork. Don't you don't want to do your real job and go fight, fight crime, right? You're a pig that goes down. Okay, so make sure she doesn't drive out here. She's gonna just drive out of here the second we leave, so. And then what do you? It's up to you if you wanna. I've never had cops watch. Sit out here. Push my vehicle. If she wants to push it a couple of blocks, we can follow her and watch her push her vehicle for two blocks, I guess. Call that tow truck. When that tow truck comes, um, you gotta pay for that, right? We can't allow her to leave though. The city does. You're to be pissed, and I'm gonna push my car. I totally agree. Yeah, she's no, if it is going a couple of blocks up to her uncle's house, make sure you verify that that person is your uncle and that it's allowed to stay. And that's the end of the video, folks. At least they did not turn into sovereign citizens.